Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm gonna show you why Chainlink could plummet to $7, all right? I'm just gonna show you some things off the chart. It's not gonna be com complicated. It's not gonna be difficult to understand or grasp. So if you guys like it, hit that like button, share, also subscribe to make sure that you stay ahead of your competition. Now, when you look at the market in Chainlink on a four day chart, look at what happened, okay? Let's talk about this. What trend are we currently on on this chart? If you can answer that question and you say, well, the market here in Chainlink is trending down, you are exactly right. And we got confirmation that this trend is still intact right here on this last four day bar to where Chainlink came and hit our downtrend line and the market ended down almost 18% on that four day bar. What other confirmation do you need? You have seen the market in real time give you confirmation that this downtrend is still in play. What else is there to talk about? Look at chain link on the daily chart. Okay, so you guys can see here from our price prediction that we produced on the 13th of September, we were bullish only to the point till we created this sell zone. Okay, we was like, look, yeah, we can see price and chain link go up, but be cautious because there's a sell zone right here between $12 all the way up here to $12.70. And the market here on the 26th, 13 days later, hit our ultimate TP price, 17% right there. All right, so currently the market is weak. The buyers did not successfully break this sell zone or has broken that downtrend line just yet. But all this not lost, we may actually just see chain link come down and bounce off these buy zones. It can still do that. It can still do this. So all is not necessarily lost. But given how massive that four day bar was and looking at this five day bar right here, these two buy zones right down here may not actually hold in the market. Here is Chainlink on the weekly. Expect the market to test those two buy zones down here in Chainlink if in the next 10, three days and 14 hours, the market closes down here on the low on this weekly bar. What about on the two weeks? Same thing on the two. If we see the market in Chainlink close on the low on this two weekly price bar in the next three days and 14 hours, expect the buyers to be tested one of these zones and if the buyers don't show up then look for the price to come down to our third buy zone which is seven dollars okay i'm just giving you all the layout so you all can be prepared for what's about to go down now chain link on the three here it is on the five and the monthly So what I think is about to go down in Chainlink is this cryptocurrency's ability to try to come and bounce off those first two buy zones. I think it's going to try to do that first. So I would definitely keep my eyes open for that. Okay, you can see right now, even on 330 minute chart, that the buyers are trying to step in right now at this area. Okay, because that was the last low back on September the 18th. So I think we are going to play again, just some slight weakness, okay? To see the market in Changling come back down to this buy zone. Now I do see this buy zone though. Like I don't want you all to be oblivious. This could be the bottom in Changling right now, okay? That could be the bottom. So let me put this on a daily. So we got confirmation on rejection at this downtrend line. We got confirmation of rejection on this sell zone. We have to lean more towards price going down at chain link. So our first target is going to be right here at this first buy zone. Either at the high or the low. At the low, it gives us what? 11.78%. 
our next target is going to be around 885, which is around 16.68% there. Okay. Our software also told us that Chainlink was a sell right there on October 1st. All right, so that is it. I am done. Give me your thoughts. Where do you think pricing chain is going to go? If you think it's going to go down, how low you think it's going to go? We have our couple of areas right here, this buy zone, this middle one, and this one at the bottom. That's where we're going to target the market trying to go. All right, so go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profit. And as always, trade different.